Greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who've been watching my videos Welcome back to the playthrough of Eliza Last time apparently Norpath Nikki has been into has been involved into the article um, writings about the badness of Eliza and she appears to be Evelyn's closest friend, but Ray completely disagrees with how uh, Nora Platniki has gone through when it comes to the routings and such, and so she kind of lost out on Evelyn there, and yeah, it was just <laughs> a little bit of an emotional roller coaster coming from Ray Buhari there. Um, and then last time also, apparently Holly Duran came from the second time into the session, just having a chattery chat, not much of the importance there. Mm. Yeah, just having to talk to people is just really valuable for them, so they decided to visit Eliza. And so far, I think it's been a good um, coming up from, it, from her, I mean, so yeah, still doing good and such. Yep, that's her second time indeed. For the past week too, at that. It's been a ten days coming here apparently. I'm talking about Evelyn. Let's continue. It looks like I have another transparency mode lined up. Wait a second, this is for who I just saw. Oh, what the? Did she agree to participate at some point? What the hell? Yeah. That was not explained in the middle of the session. Maybe outside the session? No, that's ridiculous. I hope she understood what she was allowing. Holiday to run? What are we on to here? Yeah. Maybe it's because, like, Eliza doesn't understand the process of um, the cancelling session with um, Holiday so probably they decided to instead on making her to be more assured with the uh, intervention phase they decided to unwillingly do this transparency mode unless she Decides to agree upon here. That's something that I haven't checked up on. I feel like I'm evading this person's profit too much as it is. Wait, what the heck is this? I don't see I need to look at this. Okay. Sip chat immediately then. Paul. Hello from Seattle. Who's this? It's me, Holiday. Oh, how are you? I'm out of money. Probably going to get kicked out soon and nowhere to go. You wouldn't have... You wouldn't have it in your heart to have an old friend, would you? Mm. I'm here, are you? I didn't see you. I'm by the statue. Which statue? It looks like a lady. There's a lot of statues that look like a lady. It's a cemetery where I see you. And then they continue the chats or whatever that is. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to see what's up. Uh, for some reason, Eliza picks this one instead because I didn't see any points on that unless she just really rarely texts, which do be making sense. Uh, eight emails though. Let's see from this one. Uh, Greater Seattle Care Network. Dear Holiday, welcome. Your general practitioner has added information about your health to the personalized health information management console powered by my, by my health steward patient portal. Please register for an account to view this information by visiting the site. Thank you. Hmm. Your general practitioner has added information about your health. Your personalized health. Maybe this is the reason why this one ties to Eliza? Okay, I, I'm i speculating a bit early. Oh yeah, or maybe this one. This one is way too, too, like, so last year. This may be the case. Dear Holiday, as one of our most valued customers, we would like to give you the opportunity to participate in the pilot of a new feature that has the potential to significantly enhance the level of counseling you receive from Eliza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
basically the same uh, email that uh, my elites also uh, got today. My head still a new connection to best protect your privacy and in order to ensure that patient records are being provided only to the individual individual requesting this connection we ask that the update to my personal information section in the portal with the correct information if you have not already done so. Uh, something like that, log into personal connected organizations. Uh so much redundant information. I have not much interest in this. I'll be interested if uh, other Let's Players actually manage to like read all of them because I'll be hella bored. Uh, this one though, which select power and like electricity bill? Oh no, a payment of two hundred four dollars point twelve cents. Uh, do I read that one right? I'm not sure. Remains outstanding on your account. Failed to pay the outstanding amount within three days of this reminder will start in the late payment fee. Oh no. You can pay online or you can make a payment using one of our other payment methods as online on our site. If you do not make this payment or if we do not hear from you within three days, it is our intention to disconnect the premises associated with this account. Oh, Roswater Hotel and Casino. Get in the mood. Mother. I think this is just an ad. So, if you have a treatment available only, management resources to write to forward, cancel, or alter any promotion at any time. Oh, every Monday, Club Rosewater of VIP members age 60 or older. Okay, this is quite an important news. She's at least 60 years old. Uh, that's the reason why she gets this like uh, kind of ad advert. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, mom, we are really struggling ourselves. What the? Oh. That's part of the message that the uh, that the laser doesn't show here. Yikes! Take advantage of a new offer and pay as little as zero dollars. Maximum savings will be applied. Patient out of pocket expense may vary. Patients whose prescri prescription will be paid for in part or in whole by Medicare, Medicaid, or any similar federal or state healthcare program are not eligible for savings or rebates according to federal st uh, and state law. The allowed savings on your out of pocket cost for for the plan uh, HCL will vary according to refill quality and personal healthcare insurance coverage. This is to promote guidelines. I immediately read this one because there's no way this is a free thing. Yeah, this is before her consultation with Evelyn too. Yep, as we discussed in person earlier today, you ran for the month of January with Slade, making the third time you ran has been late since last June. Oh no. Note that a Seattle tenant who habitually pay fails to pay rent is subject to eviction. I have also delivered a hard copy of this notice to you, though, Bobby. Jesus. So is that the reason? Is that the reason why uh, she just likes to talk all this stuff? Because, like, uh, She's actually struggling financially. I'm thinking I'm struggling financially, but uh, I don't know, man. This one just seems too fake for me to agree upon. Holly is tempting to get out of debt. Is she? It's really hard to tell. I don't know. I really don't know. Based on our uh, past conversation, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure that will be the case. Honestly, it's just her talking so much about uh, her experience. So like, I can't really tell about that. How the efforts to get out of there are successful.
I mean, yes. I suppose I do agree, yeah. But like, I don't know, man. I feel her efforts have to be average and then... I'm not entirely sure what these hail kills provide. But really, I just feel like it's like her is her death like the only reason for her to struggle like financially? I don't know. I really don't know. I really can't tell. I wish there was a neutral uh, choice for this one. Because I can't really tell. And not to mention that I already kind of forgetting about our past uh, conversation, so I probably have to kind of see it for a bit. It's also interesting that the history goes all the way from chapter 1. It's a really, really good perseverance here. Oh, here it is. Also, it's really handy for the history to appear because, like, it's one of the things where I will uh, need this kind of stuff when it comes to transparency mode and such. I smoke dope. <laughs> I have more of them, but it's all expensive now. Everything's expensive now. Some more people want to talk, you know. Not in the city, nope. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. She really doesn't mention too much of her financial stuff, so I'm just gonna go with disagree. And, uh,. I'm pretty curious how this will result with so, but uh, we will see. Oh. That's it? Hey, Ray, the transparency mode I just did. I think one of our clients is in a really bad situation right now. Oh? Yeah, uh, sometimes that happens. People come in and their lives are in a really unfortunate place. It can be hard to see sometimes. Hmm. I don't know, it just doesn't really show it in her counseling sessions, I don't know. But then I really don't see like the uh, animated uh, expressions and such, so like... I can't really base, base my uh, judgement from the... Uh, Micro expression itself. That'll be for another thing to learn about after all. I feel really sad about it for some reason. I wish there was something we could do. This person's getting ground down for no reason, just for being in the way. I'm sorry, Evelyn. There's not much we can do. All of what you learn in transparency mode has to stay confidential. Uh, I know, but did you really agree upon this? It's not like she unlocked the mode in the middle of the conversation. Because Eliza doesn't confirm about the mode to Holiday Duran, but it confirmed on my lady session. After three times, so I'm not sure what's going on here. The only exception is suspected child abuse and neglect, which you're required to report if you're a social worker. But proxies aren't really social workers, per se. Eliza is really the one with the agency here, so 
Well, it's complicated. Proxies are really social workers. Hmm. Probably something for a future court to decide. Either way, we can't try to fix people's lives on our own, no matter how much our heart goes out to them. Okay, just making sure. Eliza is still up and running. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. I think there's an email somewhere with a summary of our policy on that if you want. It's come up before. No, it's fine. Oh, Evelyn. I'm fine. It's it's just hitting me hard right now. Oh. I understand. Evelyn really starts to open up as this chapter goes on. Emotionally, I mean. It takes strength to focus on the role and not get distracted by what you see. Think of it like, say, someone hired you to install something in their home, and you walk in on a tense family situation. That would be bad indeed. Even if there isn't actual violence you're seeing, it's clear things are kind of off somehow. It's unfortunate, but there's not much you can do in that situation. You kind of just have to focus on your work and leave. True, true. Oh, I... I can't deny about that. If it's not at the level where you need to make a call to emergency services right then and there, then it's just... just an unhappy home. And most people would argue it's not your business. Most people. Sorry, I know that's not the answer you want to hear. I know it happens that a lot of people live in conditions where... I just... I'm just sad. This woman... The way she did two whole sessions with me, with Eliza, but didn't say anything about her real problems. Okay. Yeah. She's trying to escape in it. But then she kind of managed and did manage to escape from her real problems? I mean, honestly, Eliza counseling will cost you money. But then for some reason she came back to it over time. Wow, okay, that's ironic that I think of it. Paying people just to talk to you. That's how crazy this era is living on. Jeez. Alright, let's continue. Ray, what am I doing? I wanted to make something that would help people. Instead, I made something useless. <gasps> No, Evelyn. You don't think she got some companionship out of Eliza? Yeah, I thought... I thought she did. Sometimes that's really a help, especially for someone who might be feeling lonely. Yes, that's true. It's actually helpful, but... For money, though. Just to talk to someone. That's hard to hit him right there. Yeah, but I could have just talked to her. That's what I mean. I could have just spoken to her myself. Why would that be any different? Everything is so overwhelming. Why, why am I here in this world? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here, or even what I'm trying to decide. Oh, Evelyn. 
Is there a decision? That's a plea for help. The world is going to be full of grief and sorrow no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try to make it a better place. Evelyn, did you think about what I suggested the other day? Oh, yeah. To be a client herself. What? Trying Eliza for myself? Yeah. I'm not saying it'll magically fix things. I just think you might want to give it a try. Maybe I will. I really don't know, man. They could have all prepared for a fabricated resolutions for her specifically just because she used to be the one who found Eliza lots of negativi negativity in coming once she takes the counseling session oh man who would have knew who would know I wonder I don't know why I never did even when I was working on it, I never used it. It might have been too obvious to me what it was doing. Eliza is really simple at its core, you know? It just turns things around. It tries to reflect what the person says back at them, pretty much like the old Eliza. Okay, yes. Reflections do exist. In counseling sessions, where they will pry, they will question uh, something related to what they just got told from the client, uh, just to ensure that whatever message they just uh, told to Eliza or just counselors in general. Uh, this particular uh, proxies or or maybe just Eliza or the counselor actually get the meaning of the problem that the client is about to do. Yeah, just that one particular lacking of Eliza is just the intervention tends to be too strict for what. That's a plus and a minus for Eliza for yeah. From my fresh graduate perspective, even though it's been two years. It's just a smoother version of an idea from half a century ago. Oh. Anything you've read that makes it sound fancier than that is just a bunch of academic jargon. <laughs> it's a mirror. Interesting. The thing I like about a mirror is that it has no agenda of its own. It just reflects. Hmm. God damn. Ray gets a distant look in her eye. Hmm. Unmisted by love or dislike. A mirror, huh? So that's why. That's also a reason why Ray really likes. Uh, the direction Eliza is going right now. Well, then try to show what she thinks about the uh, whole uh, Rainer plan or such. I don't know. Maybe she has heard of that, but she has her own stance or something that we can probably get to later. She turns back to me, a small but kind smile of her face. Huh. Promise me you'll get help somehow, in some way. Okay, Evelyn. I... Oh! Hello. Sorry, I should answer this. Ah, good distraction indeed. Oh, hello.
wonder what kind of answer I should give actually. Lots of it. It's not fine. I mean, yes, it's fine in some way, but it's just so many answers that I could have given under that this tree, of course. You know what? Let's call it dystopian. Thousands of people reveal their most intimate secrets to the therapist every day. This is just a more efficient way to complete that information transfer. Have you noticed how powerful it is? Eliza is now capable of rapidly analyzing the contents of a single device and accurately inferring the overall life situation of its owner. It will only improve from there as we add more sources, more patterns to tease out the connections between them all. It turns out anything is possible with enough data. And you seem to have quite a lot. Let me make my previous statement. Anything is possible with enough high quality data. There's an unlimited quant quantity of uninteresting information, but a small amount of certain specific data can be of almost incalculable value. Telling one from the other is the difficult part, don't you think? There is one more thing I'd like you to see. After that, I'll meet you in person again. God damn it. That's it, huh? I'm so disappointed. Probably I could have just mentioned that I always disagree with that, but. Ugh. Let me guess. Messaging with Rainer again? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt our conversation. I always feel like I have to answer him right away. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's gonna like that. I would too, are you kidding? I totally understand. I guess I'm going to be headed downtown to meet with him again. Yikes! Summoned from on high. <laughs> Ooh. God, this kind of sorrowful music. It's like that one particular glimpse of emotion being delivered to that one particular line. <laughs> oh man. I have something to ask, Evelyn, and it's okay if you say no, but. Whatever you end up getting involved in, I, I hope you'll stay in touch with me. Oh, Ray, who are you kidding? You're a really cool person, and I... well, that's all. <laughs> uh, after all the... Tresca talking about Nora, though? <laughs> I hope you find the future you want. But holy crap, the way she says it, I said like... It's going to be a farewell. Holy crap. Cheesy lines right here. I don't think I will. Oh, Jesus. My body is quickly shaken from that line alone. <laughs> it's so cheesy. But it's quite powerful in the sense. Oh god, I despise this big time. You know what? I'll... I'll... God damn it, y'all. We don't find futures, Ray. We create them. Ray nods, but doesn't say anything. And I just her eyes are starting to become watery. <sighs> oh, jeez. Figures that will be that kind of farewell. She turns away abruptly, heading back towards her office. Wait. I hope I didn't upset her somehow. Oh no. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> the way I pronounced it, probably did. Oh god, what have I done? Soren the Light Rose. It begins. 
Venture Post exclusive Eliza creator raises cash from top VCs for hot new direct stimulation startup. The main behind Scandal's popular virtual consulting app Eliza is up to something new and top venture capital firms are listening. Aponia is the new Seattle startup helmed by Dr. Soren Lloyd Rose, the chief psychologist and project lead of Eliza at Scanda. It has raised $26.2 million from investors including Wellspring Ventures, Song and Lagerholm, and Xiamen Capital. Bay Area-based Wellspring invested in Aponia via its Continuum Fund, which supports startups developing technology to support and improve mental wellness. We find Soren's unique, brain-first approach to mental health extremely compelling, Walter Rokech. Uh, Walter Rokech. 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 Partner at Wellspring told Venture Post. He's already defined what it means to seek support for mental wellness once. We think he'll do it again. Oponia isn't revealing details about its technology yet, but Lloyd Rose himself has said he will be revealing more details soon when he announced the venture at One Mind 2, uh, 2.0 last month. The technology is real and working prototype already, he said. Wow, that's an immediate one. Yeah, just now. Holy hell. Evelyn Rainer would like to speak with you again. I've scheduled a meeting for 4.35 p.m. today. As before, I come and pick you up. Sara mm. Kuchitova. I haven't seen her faces everywhere, but <laughs> I would be interested to see. Maybe future Eliza Counseling Centers could point struggle people to community resources. Local rent assistance programs, things like that. There has to be something we can do. I wish I'd known more about her situation beforehand. Not that I could have changed anything. Oh, Evelyn. Something to see before I go to headquarters again. Is this really gonna be our last time v visiting Eliza? God damn it. I wonder what Rainer was talking about. Oh man. I swear this will be our last time looking at the Eliza uh, center here. Looks like I have one more transparency mode to do today. I'll get that out of the way before I meet the retrainer again. Okay. That should be the closure of this episode, uh, after all. Eliza transparency mode. Oh god! Okay, sorry for the all the silence. What the hell? Wait, what's going on here? I don't understand. Is Soren actually been in the Eliza counseling sessions with, without us actually knowing? So that he was given this much of Uh, transparency mode somewhat. Rainer, what are you planning? What are you planning, Rainer? He also has this too, right? I wonder why he has that proxy app. I don't think I need to look at this. I definitely don't want to see what might be in his photos. It's probably just a bunch of reading and tasting nuts. <laughs> Is that a fashion label? Month like. Nothing that we can click from there? Hmm? Okay. I'm still really surprised we get to assess a Soren's uh, chats and emails. Oh no, I'm not ready for this. <sighs> Alright, don't case letter. Sorry, the problem here is not what we think it impairs you. You've clearly demonstrated to us that whatever your process is, it's working and generating great results. What we're concerned with is 
optics really how would it look to those on the outside if it were to become known that there is drinking culture or something similar to a pony you know as well as we do how rumors and hearsay can spread out out of control and ignite a firestorm on social media which is something we are keen to avoid i hear you about responsible use of alcohol and also how you how was antidepressants don't even come close in terms of their immediate action Believe me, I believe about yourself, but Father and I are saying simply to be careful, do not be so cavalier, but this kind of thing, not only public sphere, reporters, conferences, etc., but in front of your new hires as well. By Wellspring, too. <sighs> it's. Mm. Don Gaisler. Like from Wellspring Ventures, that's also, that's like one of the ones that we just read there. Ah, Animator Soren, we can do this of two ways. We can either work together, either work together as you suggest and stay professional colleagues forever. If you think you can really do that, I have my doubts. Or we can simply go our separate ways. There are plenty of places for us to carve out a space of our own, this industry. Is, is it? Uh, it should be industry, isn't it? Industry. Industry, industry, industrial, industry. Okay, should be industry, I guess. Without us learning into each other much, despite what you like to say about destiny and traits of fate. I'm gonna this out for you as a clear binary choice so you can make a concrete decision about it. AM. Oh, that's that's a daughter. No, I just know you're not suppo you're supposed to be the genius to develop all this great application. Have you ever considered your magnet travel yourself? <gasps> Hmm. I wonder what the previous email is. Heather Copper Wait. Tell Roy Royce, I don't understand you have some concerns about the way you interview when on MS NBC last week. Reviewing the footage, I believe there are a few successful texts that we can deploy to mitigate the potential negatives. I should receive only the kind of attention you're interested in getting going forward. I'm hoping that you might be able to take some time out of your no doubt, very busy schedule to sit down with us and solidify a strategy strategic communications plan for you in a pony uh, key messages oh yeah this is good uh, reputation building activity ex executive media training Ooh, man this totally reminds me of that external corporate communication uh, unit that my coworkers are I think they're they would make this kind of thing yes do they? Frick. Uh, with a strong plan in place, there is far less chance of being ambushed by the media. The end goal would be for you to be able to trust us to manage your media profile. Hmm. I do wonder if Soren will take this kind of stuff. Hmm. What would be the brilliant celebrated scientist and entrepreneur you are? Jonathan. Hi, Darkos. <laughs> Darkos. Most people come into the seminar with a partner in order to practice and learn with the model, and I think that this is really the most valuable way to attend. There have been people on their own who have sat in on the session for a while, but there's a big session between watching the ties being done and practical practicing them on a real person. Another agreement to consider is a three-person group where two riggers take turns practicing on a model. If you're able to arrange that, to answer the second question, yes. You must bring your own rope. I recommend at least two 15 inch ropes and one 30 inch in order to complete all the ties with demonstrate. What the heck is this? I will answer your questions. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, is this the BSDM stuff? It should be BDSM too. <laughs> I think it's the BDSM too. I'm, I'm not gonna bother with that. Holy hell. Nora. Oh my god. What have we gone inside to? Oh my god. So good, you should say something. Thanks for well night. The world is out very well. But up there, definitely feeling pain in muscles I didn't know I had. Yeah, we're getting older. 
What is up for everyone? For all the day you besides you look fantastic, your beauty has grown since the day we were together, so it's that is really <laughs> Soren. Lol. Where that I used to be by the fire, it's never gone out. Still to get out of this other big candle from time to time. See there, I could be so happy to come Oh my god, of course. Then it's have gone otherwise. What the hell? I was able to come to you know, I don't think she had gone otherwise. Oh, thanks, you have a money fancy. Oh, that was, that's insulting. Yikes, Soren. Taking all the credits for himself, that's rather disgusting. I miss you, I know you don't miss me, oh, that's not true. I don't, I don't know how to trust words like that. I don't want to say anything because it's true, I miss you, I want to see you again. Well, you know, to find me, yeah, I know, I'll ask you something again soon. Sometimes I hate myself so much. Who is this Sarah? Hey, what are you up to? I've always really admired you. I've told you before, but it's true. You work with Rainer. Oh, this is Sarah Kuchanova. That is a lot of work, I know. These times are wasted in the job. This is so much more. I'm sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not lying, though. Oh, yeah. Don't you want more in life to be someone's secretary? You're intelligent. You know, it's not. Uh, it's like easy, an easy boss to work with. I'm sure you know that. I should do. Let me check it out sometime. Get three stories, more stories. I know I have a reputation, but that's with people I respect. I respect it. It's different. <laughs> Ask me again when you suffer. <laughs> oh, who is this Andrea? Sorry, guy. I've been under a lot of stress. This business fucks are driving me crazy. I should have realized they're just grinding you down. What the heck? Yikes. Wow, the mentioning of unhappiness though. That's coming from uh, what we have when it comes to conversation um, in the last chapter. So is attempting to connect with others. So attempting to connect with others are unsuccessful. I... I mean, in terms of business, I think... He still has a lot to learn based on the, these emails, actually. I cannot say that it's unsuccessful, though. So, are they divorced? I'm gonna assume Anya Maitra here is like his ex wife. I I don't know. It might be the case. Ask me again when you sober. I don't know. Somewhat I feel Sarah here can <laughs> kinda mingle with the way he's joking but then like uh, uh, no the way he's Approaching her, but I don't know. I know I have a reputation, but that's with people I don't respect. I respect you, it's different. <laughs> I think she's not interested. Oh, you know what? That too. Oh man, why do I judge this? I really despise this... This one. I still really don't know why Rainer present me this. I really freaking don't. That's going to affect Evelyn in a really, really bad state. I feel so. This is just gonna affect her a lot. Yes, I really don't know why. I really despise this uh, session. <sighs> God. 
And with the uh, yellow to dark tone too, this is just not a good color. I don't know, I think it's going to go down from here. This isn't a coincidence, it can't be. At this kind of headquarters building, Rainer's assistant leads me into a different elevator than the last time. It's located at the end of a long corridor protected by multiple key card swipes. Inside, the elevator smoothly ramps up speed as we stand silently. So, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna stop this episode right here. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna stop here. Right away. Before we meet Rainer himself. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, holy crap. We managed to actually assess Soren Lothroyce. Yes, I think Rainer really did set this up. I just feel like it. Like, how the hell? Why? Just why is Evelyn being the one chosen? Why does Rainer really want her so much to go back to it? There must be some sort of key that he actually needs from Evelyn. And I'm hoping that we're not gonna give that in the next episode. That's just really, really selfish of, uh, of Rainer. Yeah, so cheers for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully for the finale. Maybe for the next one or two episodes. Take care.